Hello and welcome to this thread on to this post on threads, threads in Java. As you know, to implement a thread in Java, you have to implement the java.lang.runable interface or extend the thread class. It actually, it actually amounts to the same thing because the thread class in turn implements the runnable interface. So, it amounts to the same thing. We'll implement the runnable interface. See, public class threads. I've already made a class. Implement runnable. Now, the runnable interface has a method called run, and you actually put the code for the thread inside the run method. So we'll implement the abstract method. Here you are, public void run. I'll make the thread count from 1 to 10. So I'll put in a for loop for i and t i equal to 1, i less than equal to 10, i plus plus. System dot out dot print alone. I then I'll put in a call to thread dot sleep so that the system will be slowed down and you can actually watch the progress of the thread. There you are. We need to use try catch over here because the sleep method throws the exception. The sleep method throws the interrupted exception and therefore I'll have to use try catch. Now, how does it work? And what's the difference between running a simple program and a threaded program? They should make it very clear. Watch it. Watch very carefully. Threads. Thread 1. Threads 1. Is equal to new threads. Got that. Threads. threads 2 is equal to new threads. Now we'll need to put these runnable objects inside threads. So thread t1 is equal to new thread. And put the runnable target here. Threads one. Thread T two is equal to new thread. Runable. And I put T two. Now threads are supposed to run concurrently. And we'll see very soon. The threads, as we know, have four life cycle methods start, stop, suspend, and resume. We'll use them also very soon. First of all, I'll run them simply by calling the run method. Wait and watch. t1.run and t2. Right. 500 for the sleep method is in milliseconds and so it will wait for half a second every time. Okay, things are set up now. I've got the thread class threads that implements runnable. I made two objects of that interface. Then we put that inside the two threads and we have given the run command. 
remember that I am not starting it. And here you are. You run it. What's the output? One thread is finished running and now the second thread is running. After that the program has ended. So I called the run method and it ran like any normal method. Now as you know the thread has four life cycle methods start, stop, suspend and resume. Instead of run I will call the start method now. t1 dot run, t1 dot start and t2 dot start. This time the two threads will be running simultaneously. The difference should be obvious. Watch it. See, now both of them are running at the same time. Whereas with the run method they were running one after the other. This is the difference between multi-threading, a multi-threaded program and a simple program. In a simple program there is only one thread and it runs one after the other. Commands are executed one after the other after one command is completed. In case of different threads they run simultaneously. Now can we control the thread? Start, stop etc. Let's try. I will rem rem remove one of the threads for the moment. T1 is equal to new thread and put the threads object over there. Now create a scanner. Scanner SC is equal to new scanner. I'll put system dot in. No. While true. and option is equal to sc dot next int I'll read an input and <coughs> done if option is equal to 1 we will start a thread t1 dot start if option is equal to 2 T1 dot stop if option is equal to 3 T1 dot suspend if option is equal to 4 then t1 dot resume now I'll go back to the run method and remove the condition over here so this is an infinite loop right now let us run it 
I have pressed 1 and the thread will start. See, it's counting now. Now look at this. 1 for start, 2 for stop, 3 for suspend and 4 for resume. The thread as you see is running. Counting up to 58, 59 now. I press 3 and press enter. See, the thread has been suspended now. Then I press 4, the thread restarts. Press 3 again, it stops. Four, it restarts. I press two, and the thread is permanently gone. Now, three, four will not work. It's an infinite loop, and I'll end it from here. So, as we saw out here, the resume command. The suspend command pauses the thread and the resume command resumes the pause thread. And start will start the thread. Stop kills the thread permanently and you cannot start it. Restart the closed thread. Can we show it in a better way using a GUI. Let's try. Public class thread. Let's have it extend the J frame. Extends J frame. Now we make a inner class. Class threaded panel extends J panel implements runable also implements action listener. Implement the abstract methods. Public void run. We've already got the run method. I'll just put the code over there. Then action listener as an action perform method will make it afterwards. Okay. Remove this for now. We'll be using GOI commands. There we We got to a error free program now. Threaded panel extends J panel implements runnable and action listener. Make a constructor for the threaded panel class. I'll have to make a GUI for it. What do we need? We'll have a J text field within which the thread will count jtxt jtx will txt now we'll put in four buttons j button button start button stop 
button suspend and button resume. Set layout will keep it simple as simple as possible. Set layout new flow layout add txt is equal to new JTX fill and put 10 make space for 10 characters it's more than enough add button start is equal to new J button start button stop new j button stop add button resume is equal to new j button we'll call it resume And last of all, add button suspend is equal to new G button suspend. button start dot add action listener this this has to be repeated for all the four buttons stop then Resume and suspend. No. Come to the action perform method. Object object is equal to e dot get source. If object dot equals button start. Then this dot start I need to define a thread variable over here thread th Thread is equal to new thread. Runnable would be this because the panel itself implements runnable. It's 
so I can write threaded panel dot this then thread dot start. If object dot equals button stop thread dot stop If object dot equals button suspend, then suspend the thread. If object dot equals button resume, then resume it. Go back to listen right, hopefully, and created a panel class. Now, let's create a constructor for the J frame public threads. Set layout new flow layout as I said, we'll keep it as simple as possible. Then create an object of the threaded panel. T1 is equal to new threaded panel add T1 then set default close operation exit on close so that you can actually end the program I'm assuming that you are conversant with the basics of GUI because I can't be teaching them in this particular post now I'll just set the i value instead of system dot out dot printer and I'll set it into the text box txt dot set text concatenate it with the string so I will show there now come to me threads 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 as a continue threads and threads dot set visible I'll put some initial size over here. Set size two hundred by two hundred. Time to run it now and have some fun. Let's see if we got the GUI right. Seems like we did. Now press the start. See the counting has started. Press suspend, it will stop. Press resume, the counting should start once again. Press suspend, it will stop. It will pause rather, resume will restart it. Stop will get it forever and start will restart it once again close it 
Now, I'll run the loop over here and add a number of panels. See. For int i equal to 1, i less than equal to 5, i plus plus. And I'll add 5 threads. Each of those will be running independently of each other. And you can suspend them, resume, suspend, resume the way you want it. Stop, start it again. Hope this clears up and doubts. And if you want more, then you can write on the something in the comments over there if you want some more clarifications. As I said, I have not concentrated on providing details of the GUI because that would make it too big a post and it would take us away from our subject. Anyway, thanks.